you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog we are heading into the weekend i'm very very excited it is a very gloomy day today i was able to see a little bit of the sun earlier but the clouds rolled in and i'm hoping that they'll disappear again but we got a little bit of sun i was able to walk clem it's been really spotty though so i don't know if it stays cloudy, I can already feel it in my bones. I'm going to want to stay in bed and do absolutely nothing. So I will let you know how today goes. I'm very excited for the rest of the weekend. But today, today might be a lot more chill than I expected. Because I was really hoping the sun would come out. Because I know the rain had stopped earlier this morning. But it's been really back and forth. So I can't really tell. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I love it when dogs play with like food toys like food plushies like she has a toast and now she's playing with her carrot and it looks like she's nibbling on her carrot look how cute she looks yum 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 <laughs> she's so cute look at her she's chewing on her carrot so it's like almost three o'clock i haven't really been hungry because i had the protein um coffee shake from Milani new so I've been kind of full off of that but my mom is making a whole bunch of food not for me particularly because I said that I have a lot not a lot I have like little bits of food left over from my meal prep so I kind of want to finish that off so that I don't have anything lingering over the weekend because I'm also not home for the weekend so then that way I don't waste food and have to throw it away next week and I can start brand new for meal prepping next week so all this to say I'm saying I'm going downstairs to heat up my meal prep and steal food from my family Whoa, you get a chicken mayo bap. Chicken mayo bap. So, my mom had leftover chicken that she made from my mukbang that she had frozen over, and there's like rice in there. I think that's egg on the top, some grilled onions. I'm gonna steal a couple bites from my brother. This is what I'm eating just some rice and meatballs that I made earlier in the week, but it was only a little bit, so I thought I would get rid of it. That though, that is delicioso. <laughs> My parents have something else on the menu. They're having jorman. I don't like jorman that much, so I'm just having the soup with it. Mm. But I'm gonna steal a couple bites. Gotta collect the vegetables and the nudes. Vegetables. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know where that's from. Terribles. Is that in the book too, though? I, I, I feel like it, it's their dialogue. It probably is, it huh? It probably is. I'm going to take one really extreme big bite. Oh, I lost it. Tell me when you're going to make the bite. I want to see. Oh, yeah. I I was hungry. He swallowed it whole. Too fast. I know, I know. I know. But... Why is it so slippery? <laughs> Oh my gosh! I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, my parents just filmed this for my mom's channel. You bought a book? Chicksuck tapoke. Chicksuck? Chicksuck. Chicksuck. Direct to the Oh, okay. That's what it is, you guys. It has she has eggs, she has sausages, she has lamion, she has udang. Oh my gosh, there's cheese. You guys, the cheese topoki is the best. I'm sitting on the floor. I'm getting ready to pack my bag to head over to the Ramoses. I just wanted to answer a quick question because you guys always ask me. Um about it and it's why is Clemmy not with me sometimes when I spend the night over at the Ramos's I don't bring Clementine with me what especially if it's a hangout for the day I'm not bringing her sometimes she'll come over when I am spending the night depending on what I'm there for today specifically Clem is not going to be coming with me usually for like a fun sleepover she doesn't and the reason being is because Clem is a very sensitive dog she also has very big separation anxiety she's worked on it a lot in this house so she doesn't feel that way about me missing from this house but she feels that way about anywhere else if she gets separated from me outside of this house she starts getting really bad anxiety 
Um, also because obviously Kim has four dogs and I love her four dogs when my dog's with me, I can't give them my attention. And it's really hard because they're like, oh my God, Thea's home. Like let's hang out. And I can't because Clem gets very territorial. She especially gets territorial with Riley and Riley's my baby. I love him. If it wasn't for Carlos and Kim, I would be his parent because I would kidnap him in a heartbeat. But Clem does not like him, I think, um, one, she senses that we are friends. So she definitely has somewhat of a jealousy thing. I think that his size also kind of freaks her out. And he does like to come really close to me and, like, lay on me. And she thinks that he's hurting me. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. So Clem is much, much, much happier and calmer staying home. Um, being with people that love her and she knows that I'll always come back for her. She is way happier. So other than like grooming days and days that I just want to go and no one can watch her, I'll take her with me. But if I have the opportunity to leave her home, I usually do. She likes it way better that way. But I am packing right now. I just wanted to let you guys know what I pack. But it's like literally the easiest things. I do pack pajamas because you probably like, why can't you borrow from Kim? I could. Um, or... Why can't I sleep in this? Um, I'm a very particular sleeper. Let me know if you guys are too down in the comments. But I have to have... I can do long sleeves, but I can't do sweatshirts. Like a thin long sleeve I can do. But I do prefer short sleeves. And I have to have shorts. I cannot wear pants to sleep. Something about the way the pants rub against the blanket absolutely drives me insane. It's, it's just personal preference. I can't do it. So I always pack my pajamas. I'm packing those in my little tote bag. And of course, ugh, new pillowcase for my pillow. I always bring a pillow over. It stays in my car. Um, I don't, I don't spend the night at their place very often, but I do have a designated pillow for like spending the night there. Um, and I always switch out with a new pillowcase because I'm very particular about my pillows. Um, my brother can vouch for that because I am insane about my pillows. I always have to have a clean pillowcase. Next thing, of course, is my portable charger. This is by Belkin. It's my favorite portable charger. This thing is a brick. I could probably knock someone out with this thing itself, um, but it carries a lot of battery power. So if you guys are interested, I will link this down below. It's like my go-to. I take it everywhere with me. It charges laptops. It charges phones, it charges iPads, it charges a whole bunch of other things. So I always take this and then I actually already have a little makeup bag there that has my skincare and um, toothbrush and toothpaste. So I don't need to worry about that. And I actually think that's it because I don't think we're doing anything too crazy. So all I got to do is take this. I love you, baby. You're going to be good for uncle. Okay. I'll be back in a blink of an eye. I love you. Hi, you guys. Just a little intermission. I want to thank Dossier for being our sponsor today. I have a really fun package. I wanted to open it up with you guys because it is their new line. And I wanted to unbox and smell it with you guys and give you guys my full review and opinion. If you're not familiar with who Dossier is, Dossier is a perfume company. They are really well known for making dupes for designer perfumes. I've been working with them for quite some time and honestly, Dossier is all I use. I love their perfumes. Not only are they exact dupes for great designer perfumes, but they're affordable. They're also cruelty free as well as vegan. They are so long lasting. A lot of my clothing items that I've sprayed that I don't always wash, instantly lasts forever i'm always like oh my gosh what perfume did i spray on because i don't remember but it smells so good but recently dossier came out with their own original scents so i'm very excited to smell them first thing i noticed obviously the box is completely different usually their box is a little bit of like a super light 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 salmon and on the box it says dossier original the best thing about these new three scents are that they are the genderless collection so this first one is the caramelized lavender and hazelnut Ooh, ooh, it smells so expensive i don't think i would personally use this one this one has let's see 
Top's notes are salted caramelized hazelnut accord. This one is called the fiery leather and rhubarb. The top notes are rhubarb, nutmeg, and melon. Where's a little... Ooh, kind of like this smell. I can smell the leather. I can smell the leather. I definitely can. Last but not least, this is the Sunny Vetiver and Neroli. When I think of the word Neroli, I always think of that interview with the uh, two women from the House of Dragons. I think that's the show, right? This one has top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, Neroli. I wish I knew what these notes were. Anyways, ooh, I think I like this one the most. Oh, this kind of smells like my grandpa. Ooh, I of course have a discount code. Use it to get 10% off. Not only that, but if you purchase three perfumes or more, you can get free shipping. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. We are on our way to get the little munchkin. I'm so happy and excited to see her. I'm so excited. I have um, Disney music on deck. We're going to belt it out all the way to Auntie Kim's. Um, Kim called and told me that she has a couple surprises for her. I'll let you guys know when I have her in the car with me. We got the magical princess! <laughs> She's in the back there. She's all buckled in. Where are we going? To Oop's house. To Oop's house. Let's go. Hello, everyone. We're here. Did you say hi? It's kind of hot. It's really hot. We're waiting for we the just took a bunch of selfies. <laughs> we just took a bunch of selfies like it was like my face. Hi, you guys. It is the next afternoon. It's like 2 in the afternoon. We did not go to bed, so Kim Sung fell asleep around 11. I think it was like right before midnight. And then Kim and I and Carlos, of course, stayed up until five, which we all realized was dumb. But then Kim actually stayed up even longer because Riley um, just ended up hurting too bad. I don't know if you guys know the story. If you aren't familiar with the story, you can go check it out on Kim's channel. But Riley hurt his arm pretty bad. Um, and I guess it's very prone in his breed. So she's been talking to the vet all morning. So I'm leaving her to sleep a little bit longer. I've been just tidying up the kitchen just to help her out, hoping that she can just sit and not do anything because the more active he is, which if you guys have dogs, you know, dogs will follow you everywhere you go. Um, hoping that he won't hurt himself, but Kim Sung is bored. Off to Olive Garden. Hello, y'all. Kim is auntieing it up. Oh, that's not ours. <laughs> She's doing all the games. You're too smart. I was not that smart at your age. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know English at your age. Let me take that back. <laughs> I built a pasta. Um, and I added meatballs and shrimp in the creamy mushroom. I'm talking! I got my uh, chicken and shrimp carbonara, my favorite. <laughs> Kim is watching The Little Mermaid for the first time. She already, freaked. she already freaked out because she's seeing Riley in the movie as Max for the first time. I should have named him Max! Like, freaked out okay <laughs> and then she goes is the octopus Jerusalem? 
Do you remember what the octopus lady's name was, Kim Sung? I didn't watch that part. Oh, she didn't watch that part. It's Jerusalem. It's Jerusalem, y'all. It's not. Not Ursula, it's Jerusalem. Oh, Ursula. I like Jerusalem. Is that a crawfish? Hi, Lava. Oh my god, you're so cute. We're just gonna accept the fact that his in laws are mermaids and they don't care. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that we turned this movie on so that Kim Sook could watch it. <laughs> and then she ended up watching the whole thing by herself. Very good. Now I can say I've watched The Little Mermaid. Wow. Hulaga Suga. Beluga. Beluga Suga. <laughs> Beluga Suga. Wasn't that part like crazy? Which one? Beluga Suga? You didn't know that she was going to come back and take her voice and whatnot. That's just crazy. Crazy. It's crazy, crazy But stuff, also, man. like, Vanessa wasn't all that. Yeah, that's true. Do it again. Do it again. I like it. I like the moves. Ready? Five, six. Seven, eight, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Max. Oh, yeah, we renamed Riley. Mm-hmm. It's now Max. Max. Mm -hmm. This is Max. He said, who Max? Max was cute in this movie. Hello, you guys. I am back home. It is the end of the weekend. Hello, Miss Clem. Are you just here to super? Oh, oh, you want to play? Go get a toy. Back to what I was saying. I am home. I got home last night, um, but I was exhausted. It is the end of the weekend now, and especially because I was gone for most of the weekend, I am going to actually start tidying up my room. I don't have very much to do. I just have a few things to put away, like laundry as usual. I also have to unpack my bag. You guys saw I didn't take very much, but I do want to unpack because... I don't know about you, but I feel like it's a common thing. When you pack, it's fun, but unpacking is the worst part. Or some people think it's the opposite. And I'm like, wow, I want to be you. But I love packing. I love unpacking too. I think I've come to really love it. But when I was younger, it would sit there for days and days and days. But I'm going to unpack, put it away, just so that I have a great reset and restart to the week. Miss Clem, do you have anything to say? No. Okay. That's fine. You don't have to say anything. Clem actually is extremely fluffy. I've been, she's in a playful mood. She, <laughs> um, she's extremely fluffy right now because I, she did not get bathed, um, last month. Like she always does with the boys, her cousins. Um, because I thought something was happening that didn't end up actually going through so I ended up canceling that appointment but she has to go and get a haircut which will be next week but I'm very excited because she's gonna look so 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 cute you guys remember the fried chicken that my mom made me for my mukbang yeah she um made it again because my brother literally has harassed her I don't even know how many times and then we have oh, okay. some we have some panchan. We got some tofu. We have some spinach. We have bumalnegi. Then we have bean sprouts. And then, what are these? Anchovies? Are these anchovies, Emma? Yeah, anchovies. Anchovies. And then we also have pindetok. Pindetok in God? Oh, Why did I forget? My mom had plans to kill me today. <laughs> this anchovy dish I had no idea has walnuts in it you guys walnuts and it was sitting right in front of me this whole time I was gonna grab a little seed in there the sunflower seed on yeah oh what is it pumpkin oh pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. pumpkin. and then I was like oh there's like a squiggly little thing in there and I was like what is that she was oh it's walnuts just casual walnuts not that I'm deadly allergic to them 